Hey guys, welcome to game three between Hoff and Agistel. Hoff taking game one and game two. He's starting as the... I like that they're staying consistent with their colors. I believe this is on Overwatch. I didn't look at the map, but it looks like Overwatch via tile set. I've gotten familiar enough with the BSL map pool where I think this is the case. I'm wondering if... So this is still BSL 11. I'm wondering if they've switched up BSL 12 map pool. I should take a look at that. Agistel starting in the bottom right-hand corner is the pink Protoss. Upper left-hand corner, green Protoss. Hoff... Game two, I almost feel like this is the thing with Chobo League, and why it's a little bit more challenging for me to cast, is I am not a fantastic player myself. And so mostly I have to cast based on experience of what people have done and how they play and kind of the you know the visual expectation. And usually that from the Koreans to the Hasu League guys to anyway. So when there's a little bit more of unpredictability, it's a little bit harder, which definitely happens in Chobo League, it's much harder to catch what is happening. Uh, and going on in the players' heads, if that makes any sense. So it makes it a little bit more challenging to cast. And I don't feel like I a lot of these guys are much better than I am by wide margins. So it's also a little bit more difficult for me to say, like, oh, this is what they should should have done or should do or whatever not. Pylon, by the way, scout. Probe immediately after the fact, wanting to make sure he gets eyes inside of Agistel's base. Agistel has opened up with a nine pool. And he's going to do the cancellation trick on the hatchery to go ahead and get that extra bit of supply and produce the overlord after the fact. So you're going to open up Zerglings to be a bit more aggressive in that regard. Probe's going to steal a little bit of minerals to run around with. Also gives it the, and do a little bit of attack through the mineral line against these probes before those Zerglings are in play. Get a bit of harassment. I feel like the last match, though, Agistel might have been in his own head. And I think he was in a position to go ahead and pull that map back that match back full complement of zerglings being produced and we'll see if he actually goes to the full eight there's three forge is down for Hoff he's gonna need to produce a cannon in a hurry going Nexus first ooh this might be a build order loss on his end depending on how Agistel plays it so if Agistel dinks around well we'll see not build order loss but could be some damage. So if Agistel messes around with this probe, and I like that Hoff is, okay, there. Just leaving one Zerg, because here's the thing, this cannon's warping in, but these Zerglings, I think, with the distance on this map, particularly with this cut through in the middle here, they can get into that base as that cannon, or before that cannon warps in, when you go Nexus before all of this. This much I know. So he might be able to take that cannon down. A gateway being produced, there. Is the probe gonna get in that gap? Yeah, so cannon's not warped in yet. Zerglings pulling cross. Probes are not in position to keep the Zerglings off that cannon. So cannon goes down before it warps in. Zerglings now on top of the natural. Going to get several probe kills and Hoff just calling GG right there. Yeah, needed to pull more pro more probes than that. So a quick one. So at least have that level of knowledge. Got greedy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Going to move on to the next match. So Agistel pulling down one game. Thank you for listening.